I see this all the time. Hey, buddy. You know, Sick. I picked the smallest thing in the room. I know. It's not like that. Okay, so if he's on top, go ahead. Uh, go side control. It's so greedy. You come right to the mouth. Now just go, go just like here, just cross button, okay? I just want to prove a point. I see this all the time. People bridging and trying to get somebody off of them. Straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. And what did he do? He just hung out. Okay? He's, he just kind of hang out, okay? Take the ride up, take the ride down, take the ride up, okay? The whole idea of bridging and bringing your hips up is so that you can back them up, okay? So when I'm here in the prayer position, if I bring my hips up, swing them out. Come onto your side, okay? When somebody's crushing me down on my chest, I can't breathe. It's, ugh, you know, it's, it's very claustrophobic and it's, I hate it, right? But if I can go here, swing my hips out, okay, I get a little air pocket and I can chill out for just a little bit, okay, right? So this is my whole goal. Okay, I got my arms in the prayer position. My feet are posted into the mat. My hips come up, I swing my hips out, and I'm on my side. Okay? So, here, up, out. Okay? See how I'm pivoting on one shoulder? So my hips come up, one shoulder. My hips go out, I'm on my side. Okay, just like that. Okay? Now, here like that. Okay? Whether somebody knows it or not, whether somebody knows it or not, if you could just go ahead and bring down your back. A skilled grappler knows this, okay? But whether whether you're some, some people just do it naturally just because they're holding it down, right? they're stronger than they did. But when I'm holding somebody down, I'm holding here, 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 here. I got four points that I need to hold down. One, two, three, four. Um, and, uh, and I can hold um, I can hold a combination. I can hold this one and this one. I got that one and I got that one. That hit. All right? Or I can go both the zips. This is a favorite of mine. I work this position a lot. Both the zips and step into the mouth. Like, you know, like that stuff. All those little glass. I mean, stuff comes out. Right? So I work this a lot. But I'm holding his hips down. That's what's, that's what's, so he can kind of suit away. I mean, I, I'm I'm control. I mean, top control. Being in top control doesn't mean I'm I, I'm not necessarily in the business of immobilizing this guy. I just want to stay on top. That's all that means. So I have to control one of these things. Okay, one, two, three, four, or a combination of. When I'm in crossbody, I tend to be here. I'm holding his shoulders down, right? In good guys, it's like playing. You guys, I don't know if you guys how you guys play. You know, whack a mole. You know, that little mole comes up and you smack with a big. Okay. okay. Well, that's. I mean, that's what you're really doing when you're trying to hold somebody. He starts to pull his shoulder up. I want the bottom. Number one, assess how you're being held down. Number two, go around it. Don't try to fight it. You know, if I'm pulling this, if I'm pushing this shoulder down, and he wants to get up by lifting that shoulder up, it's going to be very hard for him. I've got gravity on my side. If I'm here like this and I'm pulling this shoulder down, now lift the other other shoulder up. Okay, you see what I mean? That's how you're going to start to escape. That's how you're going to start to get out of the bottom. You're going to have to start to try to figure out what points, what combination he's holding down, and then move around it. So whenever we're on the bottom, I always start here with my arms in the prayer position, my knees bent, my feet posted into the mat. Very, very common this. Everybody, every big mauler or even good jujitsu guy wants this. Both of my arms across his body like this. Okay, you'll see this a lot, but I, I don't have, I can't finish it because both of my arms are kind of tied up. Okay, so anybody that wants to hold somebody down and hurt that person, hit them, bite them, do something, okay, they want this. So now they can, they got their hands free. So everybody wants to do this, okay? So, I'm resting on top of his forearm. All he needs to do is just push me down a little bit to get his, my weight off of his shoulders. Okay. Okay. He just takes his forearm and he just goes here. Here. That's all he's got to do. Okay. So I'm here like this. He pushes me down. 
That's it. Now, you got your heels close to your rear. Bridge high into your right shoulder and stay up in the air. Now swing your hips out and come onto your side. Okay? Is he out? No. But am I crushing him? He can breathe. You know, he's, he's starting to work his way there. Okay? Look here. Okay? Uh, go on to your side of Okay? Go on your side of Okay? Here. Okay? Here, breathe, he's fine. Okay, I mean, this sucks, but now, but I guarantee you, it's going to be a completely different feel when mm -hmm. I, you know what I mean? If I stood on him like that, he'd go, oh, okay? So, I want you to get to, push me down, bridge me inside shoulder, hips come up and out. Here, I call this the pillow position. Where am I sitting here? That's where I want to be. Come into the top control. Push him down. Bring the inside shoulder and flip him out. Okay? Here. Push him down. Bring the inside shoulder and flip him out. Okay, keep your weight up. There you go. See? Here, that's where I want to be. I have this little pocket, okay? This little breathing pocket. You can't cook. Put your weight on my chest right here, like this, when it's smashing me and you're putting that weight on. I push it down. Like, bring the inside Put your weight on top of me, crush me down. I can talk this fine. He's not crushing my lungs. I can breathe. I'm not too claustrophobic. I can work with this. Okay, grab your partner and see this. <coughs> we are almost done. You guys are. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. On the bottom. Push him down. Bridge the inside shoulder. Hips come up. Swing them out. Here the pillow position. All the way onto your side. One more time. Here we go. Listen, listen. The closer your heels are to your rear, the better the bridge you're going to get. The higher you're going to be able to lift up your hips. The higher you lift up your hips, the easier it is going to is going to be to swing your hips out. Okay. All right. One more time. Yes, sir. Push them down. Bridge to the inside shoulder. Bring your hips up and swing them out. Good. One more time. If you bridge onto your inside shoulder one point onto your right shoulder, okay, you're going to be able to swing your hips out even easier. Okay? The, the less that I put on the mat, okay, if I focus all my energy into one spot, what happens to the rest of my body? It becomes lighter and easier to move. So if I'm bridging like this, and I've got both of my shoulders on the mat, and I'm trying to swing my hips out, I'm kind of flat. If I take a little dime size and I bridge on that and I swing my hips out, I can go to my little happy place, my little pillow thing. Okay, one more time. Ready? And believe me, being my size, I live in that little pillow place. That's my, that, I'm, that's my home right there. Okay, ready? Push them down. Bridge to the inside shoulder. Hips come up. Swing them out. Pillow. One more time. Ready? Push them down, bridge the inside shoulder, hips come up, and out. Okay. Uh, elbow escape or shrimping, everybody for the most part? Not shrimping. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe not. Okay. If you, okay. If you know like what shrimping is or what elbow escaping is, this is a piece of cake for you. If you don't know what elbow escaping or shrimping is, uh, if you've ever watched the three students, it's what Curly does. Okay? So if I'm here and I swing, I'm going to go. <laughs> That's shrimping. Okay? Right? Right? You can always tell who's bosses the three students. Most of the time, it's like guys, they go, ah, they're okay. No, 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 no. Okay? <laughs> three students, right? So if I'm here like this, I push you down, I bridge to my inside shoulder, I swing my hips out. My feet, my knees come together. I dig my feet into the mat and I push my bum out. Okay? Just solo, let's do that. Find yourself a spot on the mat. Arms in the prayer position, feet into the mat. Okay? Bridge onto your right shoulder. Swing your hips out, come into the pillow position. Bring your feet and your knees together. Push your right foot down into the mat and back your bum out. 
Now pull your heels back up and back your bum out. And pull your heels back up and back your bum out. And pull your heels up and back your bum out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, you're about to run into each other. Awesome. Good, good, good. Okay? This has nothing to do with anything. I just want to sit and do it. No. <laughs> okay. okay, so now, bring on the Watch this here. Okay? He's got cross body. I push him down. I bridge to my inside shoulder. I back my hips out. My feet and my knees come together. I shrimp, I shrimp, I shrimp, I come to him. Okay, all that stuff that we worked on from here, that's how you get there. That's the most common way to escape the bottom. Okay, is to come to that bottom four quarter position. You see guys escape from there and pull their knees up and in and put them into their guard and stuff like that. That happens too. But if they're good enough to be on top of you, holding you down, they're probably not good enough not to get pulled into the card. Maybe not, but I mean, you know, okay? So, very slow. I'm here. I push him down. I bridge onto my inside shoulder. I back my hips out, okay? I shrimp, shrimp. Once I get parallel with him, I roll to my belly, and I come up to my knee. Now, whoops, sit out, blah, blah, blah. Single leg, he goes on, he grabs the hole, the little bit does. Okay? Will you get people to follow you as you start to shrimp out? Yes. Will you win that race? Yes. Why? You're the center of the wheel and he's got to come all the way around. Okay? Here, okay? I shrimp out, he follows. I shrimp out, he follows. Okay? Ready? <laughs> See you in there? Yeah. Okay, let's grab a partner, let's do it, and then I'll let you go. Okay, here we go. Ready? Lay it down on your back. Your partner's got you in a cross body position. Nice and light on top. Okay, don't crush them. Okay, let them work this a little bit. Okay, on the bottom, push them down. Bridge to your inside shoulder. Hips come up and you swing them out. Now, shrimp, shrimp, roll to your belly, pull your knees up. Again. You see that? And now all that stuff that we work on. Okay, all that sit out, that single leg, what if they lock up on us? What if they do now all that's ah now nah, okay, great, now nah, that makes sense. That's why that's how I get there. I don't just wake up there unless I'm I don't just wake up there, right? This is how you get there. Okay, here we go. Ready? One more time. Cross body position. Push them down. Bridge to the inside shoulder. Hips come up and out. Pedal position. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Roll your belly. Roll your knees. A little, a little detail, and I'll let you have, and I'll let you do it again. When you shrimp, roll to your belly and pull your knees up underneath. Okay. So if I'm here, shrimp, shrimp. Shrimp, okay? Don't do this and come up because then they'll push you back down. You come up, they push you back down. Shrimp, shrimp, they can't push you back down. Roll to your belly, pull your knees up. Okay, ready? One more time. Okay? Push them down. Bridge to the inside shoulder, hips up and out. Pillow, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Roll to your belly, come to your knees. Awesome. Switch. And usually what I say is, it depends on how good your shrimp is. It depends on how aggressive they're trying to chase you. But usually it's like, I don't know, usually shrimp once or twice, maybe three times. Okay? Long legs, like you, you you'll shrimp once. And you'll be parallel. You'll roll your belly. Okay? Me, it takes me like eight or nine times to shrimp. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay, push them down, bridge to the inside shoulder, your hips come up and you swing them out. Now you're in the pillow position. Okay, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Roll to your belly, bring your knees up. We've got to come up, we've got to come up with a whole set of new techniques to deal with my yeah, ready? Here we go. <laughs> All right, cross body position on top, right? On the bottom. 
Push him down. Bridge the inside shoulder. Your hips come up and out. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Roll your belly. Roll your knees. Roll your knees. So push him down. Big bridge. Yeah. One more time. You ready? At your own pace. One, two. You want to come to your elbow. Okay? Then pretty soon you don't even want to step up, you just want to slide your leg back. You see what I mean? So you can kind of even work your way low, 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 and get tighter, 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 better, better. better. Okay. Um, if uh, get that documentary choke, you'll see uh, Hicks and Grace do that, and it's really it's a thing of beauty. It looks, it's, it's really a, he's a freak. Okay. I mean that the best of terms. Okay. So that's the first thing that we did is we just worked that drill. Then we put it, you know, into in practical use. Okay. I'm in a bottom four quarter. My guy's in a top four quarter. I pop my head out. Book comes out, I step through, I bridge and I step. Okay? Then we talked about that single leg. Okay? I couldn't pop my head out. So I reached around the corner, I grabbed, I pulled it in, I grabbed the hold of his ankle, made him winch a for his leg, now there's a drill. Okay? Winch a for your legs. Okay? Took him over, right? Then, oh, then we did, if I'm going for that single leg and they sprawl is very calm. Well, then I pop my head out and I go right back to that sit out. Okay? All right? Then we made some sense of all that. <laughs> and we, we talked about how you get there. Okay? And I, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to talk too much about all the little details and philosophies and theories on how to hold somebody down and all that stuff. But whether they know it or not, that's what somebody's doing when they're holding you down. One, two, three, four. One or the other. You know, or a combination. You know, so. So when I'm on the bottom, the first thing I think about is, well, how am I being held down? Right? Okay? Oh, okay. he's holding my shoulders down. Mm -hmm. Now he's not holding my shoulders down. Shrimp, shrimp. Now I've got all those good sit outs that we did. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, all that stuff. I also talked about what to do kind of things for ripping and different things like that, but it's all because one of the same thing. Okay? Yeah. A very good example of that too, and this is David is so good at this. And brought you for a second. So if you could just go ahead and lay down on your back. A good example is kind of figuring uh, of figuring out how you're being held down and then moving around. Um, we call it scarf hold. Um, everybody calls it something different. But we call this scarf hold. And I call it scarf hold just because I come from a judo background, and that's what we call it in judo. Okay, but I'm going that and that, okay? And everybody always wants to take this and push to lift themselves up. And the problem with this is I'm controlling that shoulder there. I mean, that's how I'm holding him down. So if he starts to push here like this, all I have to do is just push. You can keep your arm locked out. That's fine. I'm pushing here. I'm holding his shoulders down, holding his shoulder down. Through his arm, holding his shoulder down. So this is great. I can sit right here, okay? But if you tuck this one in, I'm not holding that shoulder down. So if you put this hand on my shoulder and it started to turn away, now sit up, back up into me. You see what I mean? All right, so look at this, okay? You got a scarf hold position, okay? Uh, switch your feet towards my head, here like this. If I go here like this, and I try to push you off of me, okay, go on here. But he's not holding this shoulder down, so figure out how you're being held down. Well, he's holding this, and he's holding that here, okay? So if I come here like this, you see what I mean? Okay. Well, what if he's savvy to that? What if I get here like this, and as I start to push on this, he slides that leg back? Okay. Um, I'll still take you over. You gotta slide it behind you, okay? So if I go here like this, there, yeah. Okay, now, he's back your hips out. What is he not, you know, what is free, okay? Once I sat up here like this, and I got stuck, it's because now he started pushing that shoulder down. Okay, so he's not holding my hips. All right? So I know that's kind of going off on a weird little tangent. Yeah. Can't worry about cutting the 
Jim in the arm up and getting a I'm always worried about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. more, extending I'm always yourself. worried about it. Yeah. Did, did you guys know what he's talking about? I had an arm choke. Wait a minute. Yeah. Here. I had an arm choke here like this, right? Okay. The thing is, I'm in scarf hold here. Like this. If I was here like this, I would not reach out with this hand. I would do something completely different. Okay? But if he's got scarf hold here like this where he doesn't have my head, absolutely. Okay. See what I mean? Um, but, and, and not to go off on a weird thing, but I just really want to stress the point that when you're on the bottom, that's, you have to figure out how you're being held down and then move around it. And believe me, being smaller, okay, um, I mean, I weigh about 145, right, you know, give or take. And when I first started, I started doing BJJ in 94. And basically, when you started, when, when I started doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it was because you wanted to get in a cage and beat somebody up. That's why you did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And I'm like, I'm a 130 pound guy that has no, I didn't, I want to do that. I just want, I saw that stuff was cool and I wanted to do it. And, you know, so I was with all these monsters that were just crushing me, killing me because they're fighters, you know, and they're horrible training partners. <laughs> but, you know, so I had to learn really quick how to defend myself on the bottom and how to get comfortable on the bottom and how to figure out how to get out of the bottom. And I see all the time people get on the bottom and they just bridge. And they, they look like a fish out of water and then they just, they're exhausted. And then when you get exhausted and your head gets really hot and you get super claustrophobic, and then you start really being, you know, you know, I mean, it's a scary thing. Okay, I mean, there's, uh, I have a girl, Gwen, at my club, like, the first couple times that like, she came in, we were rolling with her, and I got on top, you know, and I was holding her like this, and she kind of like, oh, well, she welled up. She was okay, you, you got to get out. And I was like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. But, but that's the thing. I mean, you get really claustrophobic down there at first, and you have to work yourself through that. Now, a 250 pound guy can crush her down, and she's down there fine. She'll pillow up. She'll put him into a guard. She's, she's a horse uh, threatening move up now. She's awesome. Yeah. But I mean, that's the thing, you know. I mean, you got to get used to that. You got to understand. Okay, what's going on when you're down there on the bottom and work your way around it? Don't just flop around like a fish out of water. Yeah. Um, so that's that's how we just we put it all together there. Okay, at the very end. That's just how you're getting to that bottom. It's like I want to, you know, I can't, I can't. Everybody wants to know how do I get out of the bottom and um, then be on top. Well, that's a long process, but I can tell you, how, I, I don't, you know. I can tell you how to go from being flat and being crushed and being claustrophobic and being smashed to getting to a pillow position where you can breathe. And then once you go from a pillow position, I can kind of show you how to shrimp out and get to a, a bottom four quarter position. Not out of the woods yet, but man, it sure is a whole lot better than being smashed. And then I can kind of show you how to get your head out and sit out and maybe go for a single leg and do different things like that. And a lot of times if you're really flexible once you're in that bottom position, you can put a foot up and just kind of scoot underneath it and put them right back in the drop. But I mean, you know, that's the thing. I'm just trying to give you like little steps of getting out of the bottom. Okay? You know, I'm top and I apologize. But here we go. Straight ankle lock, heel hook, knee bar. One, two, three, drill. Rolling toe hold, okay? Knee bar from standing where I take the Jane on the step backwards. Breaking sticks when they start to defend that knee bar, okay? Then sit out drill, okay? Then from a bottom full quarter, sit out. Then from a bottom full quarter, single leg, okay? Then from a bottom full quarter, and they're holding on, how I sit how I sit out, okay? Then from the bottom full quarter, they're holding on, how I single leg, okay? Then from the bottom of a crossbody position, how I get to the bottom full quarter. Push them down, bridge them inside shoulder, hips up and out, pillow. Shrimp, 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 hold your belly from your knees. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions about anything at all? Jiu Jitsu related.